what are the parameters you should consider and how are you gonna decide which technology to use in your project we will discuss that but after the intro Hi everyone, this is Subhat and you are watching Fun of Realistic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithms. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So in this video, what I'm going to say is totally my opinion. What I observed through these years and uh, what I observing in the market. So that's what I'm going to say today. Before starting a project, we, we should think like the founder, or the owner of the project so think why they are starting a project okay so suppose you are the owner of the project and you are not starting a project like just I'm not saying about just a learning project or you just want to learn angular you did some angular you want to learn C sharp you want to learn node.js so did project in that I'm not saying about that I'm saying the real project like you want to do something in that project so what the motor of it the motor shouldn't be that you are using with the with the technology you are going to build the project that shouldn't be the motor the motor should be is you want to solve some problem here any problem it could be a small problem it could be a very big problem so basically you are going to start a project or a company or something building some application for someone and which solving some problem so what is really happening in the scenario suppose you know java okay and you know um, some front end language like angular react and all and then you try to mold and manipulate your outcome towards your end goal okay so that unconsciously or subconsciously you just pivot something and somehow you're gonna reach to the end goal and any doubt technology doesn't matter to reach the end goal but that may gonna take some time initially it is pretty easy for you as you know the language or know the technology but in the process you will see a lot of hurdles a lot of things to achieve that goal okay so what I mean to say is if I decide the problem okay so suppose you want to solve a logistic business okay so decide what is logistic business and what is the problem in that and to solve that particular problem check which technology is best for that not what you know and you're gonna solve that problem with that technology you're getting my point right so my, what I mean to say is first decide the problem then go back to the technology and use the technology to solve that problem okay so this is the ideal approach you should follow before starting any project and if you are the owner like if you have that capability to to decide the technology and all you should think like that so the, what i why i'm saying is suppose you're starting a new company or uh, you want to build something don't think like i know this language so i'm gonna build with the language i'm gonna build that solution i'm gonna give that solution to them i know in every language you can do every solution technology doesn't matter to providing a solution but technology helps a lot okay so when your application grows on application like it become a huge application then maintaining that application will be easier if you decide upfront okay so that's what I mean to say and there is a one more scenario is there I want to focus on that because in the real life everything is not going to happen ideally so what which scenario I am telling you about suppose your four friends are there who are starting a company you all know node.js pretty well okay and you found that the problem which you are trying to solve it is pretty good to be solved with some Java uh, or C, C++ or C what I am saying that compiled language but there is a big learning curve in them okay and as you are starting up you can't afford to hire someone okay it's it's good if you can add someone to the project who, who know those languages but your efficiency will be reduced now you four guys can code and build application pretty faster as you know time is money in this current market so 
who is going over faster and execution is pretty good they will going to succeed in the market okay at that time you have to take a decision that whether you're going to build the application with that language and that doesn't mean that you can't build with the language you can build anything with any language so that my suggestion will be whichever amount of knowledge you have if that is sufficient just take a good architecture of it just to read about the particular architecture and if you are starting a company you already know that one so read that particular architecture and apply that architecture in the current language like suppose javascript you are using node.js so build that architecture with node.js and implement that architecture to solve the problem okay and when you solve the problem launch into the market evaluate it so you, if you are just you, the, the product is now a prototype for you for a beginning point of view i'm saying and that prototype you can show it to some investor or some angel investor or some vcs and they want to fund you for your startup and with that fund you can again hire someone to rewrite your applications or hire a team to rewrite your application with the suitable language which you thought is best for the product okay so this is how if you go with this path the chances of success will be increased because in startup or if to build a pro proper project the evaluation is the most important thing than your pro than your performance okay obviously performance is the topmost case but suppose you build a pretty good application which nobody is using that useless right and if you are going to spend all the time on that so give your application as fast as possible to the market then take the feedback then try to rebuild your application or restructure application because you have fun that time you have time you have resources you have everything okay and and your idea is also get evaluated so that's what i mean to say how you're going to decide a technology don't go with every time don't try to follow the ideal steps according to the scenario according to your capability according to the resources you have according to the budget you have you have to decide the technology there are some technology i can use node.js for backend you can use java for backend you can use c++ for some application some pretty heavy duty applications and at the, uh, as you guys know there are in the ui side you have angular you have react you have view i'm saying the popular framework there are a lot of backend code in the in the back end you have c sharp as well dot net and net core and for db okay for db this is again you're going to decide the db according to the, your knowledge okay like already i told in some cases sql is good sql means the relational database is good and in some cases non-relational database is good but you have to choose that one but again as i told if you are in a hurry to launch the product to launch the application launch that because in the starting phase you don't have that much rush you don't have that much traffic then again you can rewrite and build a prototype again or your application again to a particular heavy duty um, database or heavy duty languages okay so you can use mongodb they have pretty good documentation as well or you can use mysql there are a lot of things are there i am repeatedly saying i am just explaining the popular one whatever whatever i feel it's good to be so that's it for today guys today we just discuss about what the parameter you should think like the parameters are you need the product pretty faster or you have the all the resources in your hand and how you're going to decide what technology to use to solve the problem okay so first you're going to decide the problem then drill down to the technology so that's what the today's topic was so please hit the like button if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet please give some valuable comment in the comment section below Please share the video among your friend. We are going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.